Yo, what's up? This man is my name and my homie Citrus asked me to make a quick tutorial on how I make melodies for my dream plug beats. Before I start, I'm so sorry for my shitty mic, but all the other ways didn't work. Let's gonna start. Uh, I love to take a uh, instance of purity and start with some rows. Or piano. First of all, searching for a root note. I'm taking A sharp. And I love to make the velocity quiet because the roads uh, sound so much cooler then. It's like a soft velocity and then I'm just counting I like to start with a minor one two three I'm using some some chord codes there's two different ways to count these chord codes most of the uh, producers count like zero one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. I'm not good at music theory. I'm not sure which chord this is called. But I like to make it big for some jazzy feeling. So that's why um Yeah this this is a beautiful chord already. Um if if that's not enough enough for me, uh I'm kinda uh look maybe I can add some notes or, or one one more note uh, at the upper part of the of the chord one two three yeah that's beautiful and i like to make um a bass note yeah that's cool sometimes i make this typical let's make some lower bpm I don't like to use that rhythm. Yeah, I, I, I got some ideas for that one. I like to use um, chord inversions. What I mean is, uh, before I start the chord inversions, there's a typical thing you do in general in plug. You go down with the chord three, four, five. This this sounded already cool, but what I like to do is uh, um, do some chord inversions, and I take this one, make an inversion with this one, and then I take this down note. If you can see, this F sharp is also here in this chord, and uh, bring it up. Beautiful. And then a typical thing I like to do is make this rhythm. But I had a cooler idea. We play with some, it was an augmented. It's a lovely way to, to make a transition from the end of the chord to the next part I decided to make this one not at the end the chords and here are the diminished and augmented chords and the augmented is with a code like one two three one two three one two three mostly I use them at the end because it gives a lovely end of the chord progression What I am doing is some variations with these notes. It has, yeah, I'm doing that like by ear. I'm trying to keep it simple, but sometimes you can experiment in, not, not in the transition part of the chord, like here, you can add them anywhere if it sounds good. It's like they, these notes telling you a, a story. I love that, I love that. 
it's an important thing to uh, randomize the velocity of the chords for a natural feeling and what I like to do in plug in general to put this note right in the second bar Some, something simple, but it sounds so cool. What you also can do is uh, put a bell to create more melodies. Uh, I like to pick some strings. Oh, before we do that, um, we, we're gonna take a pad. That's beautiful. I love lead synthesizers, that's why we got to take some, I don't know why I love to do that, but I'm always, I am always do two of them, like a lead and kind of a flute, or I love this section by, by Purity, this woodwind section, I fucking love this, this is so cool. It, it was that forgot. It doesn't matter which one you use, you use that what sound better to your ear. I like to take one pretty simple. Like that. And um, when I use two leads, I make one go like 60% or 70% left or right, or you can make it. 100% but that sounds not always good for me and the other one the lead in this situation I like to make some more individual notes if you got some cool purity lead presets that you can recommend leave it in the comments there I love to get more uh, knowledge about presets from the VCs I'm using. And uh, yeah, one tip, you can see I'm, I'm using always these notes like the natural given scale by my chords. And I choose the option on the views and scale highlighting. I work always with automatic scales. It's because uh, it gives me a better workflow to work uh, with my melodies and chords and shit. And also here you can make some randomizing with the velocity. And I'm gonna put the level down. But I don't like that, to be honest.
Yeah, that's cool. Maybe, maybe add some more slidey character. I'm not sure what the auto button does. If you wonder what I did, I uh, worked, uh, I just changed the uh, gain, the volume of uh, my mixer, of the instruments in my mixer, because I, I got two screens, that why, that's why you didn't saw that. Yeah. What I wanted to say is, uh, you can add more more layers to the uh, melody. You also can work via two big bars. I don't know the word in English for tucked. Write down some uh, structuring in the arrangement. And that was it. And I think Citrus will make the drums. Yo, what's up guys, it's me now. And I'm gonna show you how to make drums on the plug melody. Big shout out to Vicious Main for making this melody. I didn't hear it yet, I'm hyped about it. Definitely go tap in with Vicious Main. He makes crazy beats, bro. And let's listen to this together. Damn, bro, this is hard as fuck, yo, okay, this is like very chill, this is, bro, this is beautiful, okay, okay, let's see. Let's do a new pattern and start laying down some drums. If you want this plug stash kit, go hit up Young Valentino. He made this crazy stash kit with Arvid the plug. Bro, not gonna lie, this is this got all the sounds that I need. And also some of the loops. It got 10 loops I think. Bro, go check it out if you want. I leave a link in the description. Alright, let's start. Okay, let's do the heights. Okay. I'm just gonna do what I hear in my head. Fuck you, Citrus. I like this. Very simple. Yeah. I'ma leave it like this. Yeah, like this. I'm gonna do something with this sound at the end of the of the eight bar loop I think. This is crazy, I like it. So let's start with the 808. Definitely going for sub 808. I'm not sure. 
think I'm gonna take this one. So guys, the drums that I use, they are all in the Young Valentino stash kit. I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. And it's only $9, so it's 100% worth it. Let's start with the 808. So guys, for the 808, I would recommend you going a few octaves up and playing the melody and then clicking the notes and see which fits the best but in my case I got a FLP from Vicious Man so I'm just gonna go into this MIDI and I see that the root note is B and A sharp so I'm going back to the drums and I'm gonna lay down some 808s Maybe we want to add something later but for now this is fine. So we're gonna split the channel and then with control and drag down we will put this into our playlist and then we will go over to the mixing. So you can as a shortcut you can hold down control and drag with the left mouse button and then control C and control A. L, control L. Yeah, so as I said, I just cut out unnecessary frequencies with the paramedic EQ. And for the 808, I think I'm gonna put on some sound goodizer or soft clip, I don't know. This is the easy way you can put on, I don't know, fruity limiter or something. But I like sound goodizer. I'm gonna put up the the low end a bit and I'm gonna turn down the, the high end. So I wanted to do something with a specific perk on this one. So let's do that real quick. Yeah. Alright, so for arrangement I wanna do a 8 bar hook. And after that, I'm gonna make a verse. And for the verse, I'm gonna take out some melodies. I will say the lead. And what else? I think we can leave it like this. And then maybe in the second, in the second part of the verse, then we will take out the melody. Then for the last part of the verse, I'm going to take out the strings and the lead. So this is like the bridge and I'm going to do no drums, I think. Yeah, no drums. I'm going to take out this perk that I made for the hook. I'm going to also take out the hi-hat and this perk. Nice, nice beat. And now what we want to do is add some sound effect. So, I don't know where I got these drum kits from, bro. Don't ask me. But just type in. So what we want to do now is adding some sound effects to finish off the beat. Fuck you, Citrus. Yo guys, so I added some sound effects and spiced up the melody. Now I'm gonna add our tags and then I would say the beat is finished. 
Guys, let me know in the comments how you like this tutorial, how you like this idea of a collab tutorial. I will play the beat in the end of course. Like, subscribe and comment if you like the video. Yeah, have a great day. Fuck you, Citrus.